Amara, Christian, please turn toward one another and join hands. Now look into each other's eyes, take a deep breath, and remember this moment forever. Follow you into the dark, throw your own down like a falling star. Long before they ever thought about this day, Amara and Christian met and became fast friends. They hung out together. They studied together, tailgated and enjoyed badger games together, staggered down State Street together. They were great friends, best buddies. You probably heard this story earlier about all of us being at the cabin, and that's the first time that I met Amara, was amongst a group of friends at the family cabin in the UP. We were all having a few libations. And I noticed across the room that this very cute girl cannot stop staring at my brother, who is totally oblivious to this entire thing happening. So being the very gentle, good, big brother I am, I pulled him aside and said, hey, dumbass, you should... I think you should probably really date this girl. She seems like a nice girl. <laughs> you could tell by listening to her on the phone that something was up. If you could see through the phone, you would have saw a big smile from ear to ear. And she said, I met a guy. Christian. <laughs> Amara Jane Baltus, the day is finally here. All of the planning and stress we have endured over the past year is all going to be worth it because the next 24 hours is all about you and me and celebrating our love for each other. Wherever you're going, wherever you've been, I'll follow you to the end. I'll follow you to the dark, throw you big on dance like a falling star. Going back to the summer of 2017 when we first met, I knew you were special when you came up to my cabin. And I woke up early expecting to be the first person up and I walked into the kitchen to find you and my cousin Ronnie having a cup of coffee, telling each other stories and sharing a laugh. I think back to that moment often as it truly reflects the amazing person that you are. Early on in our relationship, it was clear to me that we would end up together. For me, you checked all the boxes. You are driven, you are kind, smart, funny, and obviously gorgeous. One of the many things that I love the most about you is how you wear your heart on your sleeve. I had never met someone so unapologetically themselves. She isn't afraid to ask her what she wants or tell you what's on her mind. She'll sing along to any song despite not knowing the words just because it's fun. She is definitely not afraid to laugh at herself, which made me feel like I could laugh at myself too. She's probably one of the most intelligent, thoughtful, and humble people you've ever met. And I think everybody here knows Amara knows that to be true. The more I got to know you, the more I realized you were the person I had been daydreaming about as a little girl, wondering what kind of a man I would one day meet and later marry. I have to be honest, I was so afraid to fall in love with you, because allowing someone to have your heart and letting them know the best, the worst, and the ugly parts of you is terrifying. <laughs> but you are strong and sturdy, kind and confident. When I'm with you, everything in my world feels safe. I know your heart is not a house, but 
It is my home. I know that, like everyone, we will face challenges in our marriage, but I am confident we can overcome anything together. We are a team, and I will always have your back. I promise to let you be the passenger princess while I drive you everywhere we go. I, I vow to always make you feel adored and appreciated. I promise to challenge you while also being your rock. I promise to try to stop chewing ice cubes while we watch TV. Amara, you are my everything. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you more than words can say. I can't wait to experience the wonderful life I know we'll build together. I want you to know that I vow to be endlessly loyal to you. I will always have your back. You're my favorite person, my confidant, the one and only that I would be truly and deeply lost without. Loving you has been the easiest choice I've ever made, although I don't think it was my choice at all. So without further ado, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Wisconsin, it is my honor and pleasure to pronounce Christian and Mara husband and wife, joined together today both in law and love. You may now share your first kiss as husband and wife. As brothers, Christian and I have done pretty much everything together. We've had a lot of good times. I've kicked your ass a few times. We've been to the top of a few mountains and the bottom of a lot of bottles. I can honestly say I, I cannot be prouder to be your big brother or more excited for Amara to officially now be my sister. Christian, thank you for loving my friend the way she deserves to be loved. There is nothing more satisfying than Amara asking me for my opinion and responding with, oh, Christian said the same thing. All I could ever want is for someone to look out for Amara the same way I would, and it's clear that you do. And Amara, thank you for being my first true friend, for making space to talk about our future hopes and dreams when all we ever knew was our small town. And even more, thank you for letting me be a part of watching one of those dreams come true today. I'd like to raise a glass to both Samara and Christian that their life together is as beautiful as Amara is today. My greatest wish for the two of you is that through the years your love for each other will so deepen and grow that years from now you'll look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you loved each other the least. My promise to you is to treat you every day the same way I will treat you on this very special day. I love you, Amara, and I will never let you forget it. Love, Christian. <laughs> 